We got oil changed. It looks like, um, yeah, we won't be using Paul's boat today. It's, um, looks like he's, um, his chain broke, anchor broke off or something. I don't know what's going on. But I gotta get, gotta get mine in the water. Um, otherwise we'll be stuck land based all day. Oh, feel, look at that. Push that out. Ideally, that back anchor needs to be thrown out a bit further there. Hopefully that stays chilling out there for a while. Got to cook brekkie and um, head out shortly, I reckon. Because that water will keep falling. It's not a huge difference in tides, so between top and bottom. So it's not going to just drastically fall on me and like in the next hour, stranded. Which sometimes it is like that when you got like five meters between tides. Um, but it has dropped more than it. I think the high tide was just that little that stuffed us up. <clears throat> Paul's on the um, brekkie today. Bacon, eggs, bread, butter, cheese. It's gonna be good. Barbecue sauce, barbecue sauce. Got the um, cappuccinos going here. It's handy having two cookers. You can cook boil water and your food or cook eggs and bacon, two pans, that sort of thing. <clears throat> Not much longer and we'll be stuck here. We gotta get out of here. It's a bit like Jurassic Park this morning with the mountain top there and the fog. I reckon it'd be really cool to go for a hike up there. Maybe we should do it. We're here for a couple of days. <laughs> I'll tell you what would be cool, Paul. Going for a hike up to that rock, that ledge. No. I would love to do that. What's this? Um, okay. Grab all this top gear. Yeah. Yeah. You got the box. Oh, you got a bag. Big day ahead of us. Spearing, fishing, you name it. Here we are in Jurassic Park. So we're currently in seven meters of water and we've got visibility clearly straight to the bottom there that's amazing we must must be like 10 15 meters visibility i reckon today so good that's amazing look at them on oh there's a bunch of fish on the other side of it and then it drops straight down So it's three and a half. Oh, that's a big parrot fish. Oh, mate. Look at that, Paul. That was huge. You still got it? One of those hump head ones. Yeah, he's gone in that cave there. Oh, there's a good... That's a good trout. Is that a trout? Yeah, he just bolted around there. What do you reckon the visibility is like? Oh, I reckon it's like 
10 to 15 meters easily, which is pretty rare. So very excited to get in the water today. All right, we're all rigged up. <laughs> And um, hopefully this camera is sealed, the charging port cover's a little bit dodgy, but it's too good not to get any footage today, eh? Let's go! down there. Not really anything spearable, no big crowd or blowies in this like radius where we are. So we're gonna go try out a few other spots. Lots of fish to look at and film but um we also wanna we got a hungry esky to feed so new spot. Check that out. I don't think I've ever seen the water this clear in my life. Probably in my life, I reckon, eh? Hey.
crayfish today uh, it's hiding down under a ledge it's down pretty deep I saw a few other fish the fish were gone when I got down and um, had a look under the rock and this beast was under there so I took the opportunity and um, yeah garlic butter crayfish out here is the way to go um, it's just like a gigantic prawn essentially yeah pretty happy with that so we had a really good time spearfishing. We cooked up some lunch on the beach there. And given that fishing is a bit of a go now, but it's uh, been hard yards. First spot that I wanted to go to we went to um, yeah just nothing showing on the sounder at all so we made a move tried for some squid no good and now we're just trolling trolling this headland for a Spanish I've caught a few here before so hopefully fingers crossed finish the day off with a Spanish and then we're gonna go sort out things at camp. Sort out the other boat that got to the beach this morning. The water will be up now. It's been a big day. The fishing's not been great. Spearing has been. Uh, but we're back at camp. Waiting for that tide to drop a bit before putting the boats in um, at the shore. Just casting on the flats here. And just pulled in this beautiful, beautiful little coral trout. So that, that's been nice anyway to catch something. Yeah. Oh, that was good, yeah. Oh, yep, he's on. Ha, yeah. Oh, this is a better fish ball. Wow. Oh, he's got me. Oh, he got me in the snags. He got off. That was a much better fish. Good fish? Yeah, it's in the shallows though on the light gear. Like if that was a trout it would have been around at least legal at minimum I think. Because that other trout I got was a piece of cake and then. Oh that's a bit disappointing. It actually snagged me, and then when it came out, the lure came out. Back at camp here, we got Paul. He's having a beer. It's buggered, he says. Boats are out there moored nicely. Got this um, crayfish that I'm gonna cook up for an afternoon snack. Here it is here. Never had it before, so I'm pretty stoked to have caught that and see how it goes, eh? It's a 
twist this bottom shell off. Man, it's just sharp. Just like that, hey? Wow, that looks beautiful. Full. That's just full of meat, hey? It's like eating 20 prawns in one hit. <laughs> First time cooking this curry, but what I'm gonna do, got heaps of oh, a bit of oil there, mix, mixing up, and I'm gonna whack some um, garlic powder on, garlic powder drench on those crays. Yeah, we'll just um, sterilize these pots and everything, they're all washed. Let me know when you're ready. Getting some um, butter goodness in there. They say lots of butter is good, eh? Yes. Wow. Well, good for you, but... Look at that. Butter goodness going in. Oh, yeah. So, they reckon, um, put the shell side down. Where the um, meat's kind of like baking in there, you don't have to worry about burning it. And then at the end we'll flip it over and sear it. Oh, look at that. That smells so good now with the butter and garlic powder side down. Here we go. Grab a bit of that goodness there. That's good, eh? I'd say it's very different to um, prawns or mud crab. But it's very nice. Mm. Literally just and that goodness out of there. Look at that. <laughs> mm. Not good. I reckon. I just need like another six of them. Or maybe throw it on a rack or something. A bit more filling then. I mean, there's a fair bit of meat there, eh? Mm. Yeah. Well, that's it. I'm just eat it out of the shell. Something like that. Hopefully I can uh, get them up a bit more in time.